Check it out. Four freshly laid eggs, and they're all different colors. How cool is that? That's what real eggs should look like. When I take your hand, I feel safe. I feel love on my way. It's in your eyes, it's you and I. Would you show me a better world? And every smile makes me see the purpose of my life next to you forever. Cause when I'm with you, I feel at home. Welcome to Ecuador. This mega diverse country sits along the Earth's equator and is inhabited by over 17 million people. Because of the proximity to the equator, there are only two seasons year round, wet and dry. We are now entering the dry season. This past week, we drove a few hours down the coast from Mompiche to a slightly larger beach town called Kanoa. Thanks to our favorite app of all time, I discovered a weekend yoga retreat at a finca close by, and this is where our story begins. What an amazing way to start the morning. We are at Finca Penguino, which is a farm that's owned by a French-Canadian couple with their beautiful daughter, Lily. After having an amazing weekend um, doing the yoga retreat here, I was so lucky to be invited back and to bring Max and Aki along for a week's stay at the Finca to harvest food, work on the farm, and really experience this life that they have built here in the last four years. First things first, I'm quite hungry. Max is in the kitchen making us some breakfast. Good morning, uh, unicorn. <laughs> Token coffee. Oh, okay. This yeah. is a conversation that I always happens. How do we achieve good iced coffee? Ah, uh, morning, yeah, buddy. The day after, like, or the same day, it's gonna Simon, be thank you for having us. Uh, well, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. And I hear you have a big day planned for us. Yeah. Well, I've heard that you wanted to sweat, so Sue started with the yoga this morning. And yeah. I'm going to continue with uh, planting trees and working the farm. Perfect. Very excited. I've made just some more of the uh, okay. old-fashioned dough bread. Bring nice. it back. They're getting nice and fluffy. So one of the coolest things about this food forest around here is that everything has a purpose. So the eggs are hatched straight from the chickens and then the eggshells are actually really good natural compost. So you don't even have to put them in the compost. You can just put them at the bottom of the tree and they'll compost right away as well as bananas and coffee grinds. So we are just gonna make a vegetarian omelet and I need to get some cilantro for the omelet as well as green onion. So first from the herb spiral, we'll get a little bit of this guy. Off to the green onion. Now this structure behind us is known as the yoga shala, which is where the volunteers stay and where people stay for the yoga retreats. Upstairs it sleeps six, and downstairs is the kitchen. As you can see, here is the daily schedule. It's for the ants and for uh, the soil. Yeah. Uh, it's a legume, and then another legume is the guava tree. These are the trees we have to plant uh, this week, and we'll try to do it all today, but we'll see how, how we go. I've got a bunch of things for you to plant. Yeah. So uh, let's get to work. Would you call the birds? But so basically it's, it's all in the rest. You really want to go like right above the ground. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, come here. Makes me see the purpose. And which plant's this one? Canavalia. And what's that? So 
So that's a, that's a legume plant that produces flowers for the bees. It produces beans for us to eat. It is a nitrogen fixer, so it really gives back way more than it takes to the soil. And it helps and, control the ants, right? Yeah, that's right. According to the schedule, it's time to harvest our food for lunch. Almuezo. We're foraging the ahi, which is hot peppers, and they're too hot to touch. But Max is gonna eat one, isn't he? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> it's a bit of a slow build. <laughs> Why are you walking away from the camera? <laughs> I just need a bit of space. No, it's not. I want to see your watering eyes. I was already sweating. Okay, I want to try. Hey, <laughs> careful with your fingers after. Oh. You're gonna have to wash them. Really? They're just gonna burn? No, like if you touch your eyes with them or. Oh, mine's still going. Wow, you reacted well! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You just Very killed good. everything. Mine's still going. Oh, there, I can feel it all in here. Wow, you must not need many of these to make your ahi. No. No, you need three. Three. Three or four. Yeah, but we. But my dad goes with like 50. Yeah. Three or four for the entire hot sauce? Yeah, like for like a. Um, Depends. A pot. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay. Mine's still kind of going. Mine is too somehow. <laughs> Mine's getting worse. The, the truth will come. The truth will come. I'm not doing it by the <laughs> Alright, so while, while you're feeling the hot peppers, any regrets about moving to Ecuador? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> no, no, uh, it's, it's not. Uh -huh. That's a, that's gonna be the worst interview in the world. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's coming now. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Are just you still like good? I, I have my tongue. I can feel my tongue. Alright, so now we're just picking them. You gotta eat the green one. <laughs> this is proof of yesterday's harvest. Oh, the squash. And next we're in yucca. Oh wow, look how long that one is. I said that before. Simple yeah, tickets to the show. And so did you know how to do any of this stuff before you moved down here? I never ate, I never ate yuca before. You just learn every, everything from scratch and it's just really, it's like university. You think you learn fast and then some things happen and you have to learn faster after that, like the earthquake. We had to figure out some things, but it's just like, it's exciting. Every day is pretty, uh, pretty new, fun. And new challenge. Yeah, oh definitely. Problem solving and creating as well. There we go. So there's a couple that are broken. That explains Hi. why it broke. Hi! Hey! Ah, <laughs> see! Yucca. So to get the yucca out of its skin, you cut it in half and then peel yeah. off the skin so there's no need to peel off the dirt. And then you wash it afterwards, but it's actually... Yeah. This see is actually a small yeah, yeah. one, so it's... Yeah, it's actually see, quite easy. The skin just peels off like that. And then we're grating it to make yuca hash. By the way, I don't think we actually formally introduced you to the vlog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, we didn't formally introduce you. Anyway, this officially is Sue. Hi. Meet everyone. She's mm -hmm. a lovely female owner of the land here. And your background, you're born in Madagascar, right? I'm born in Canada. Oh, you're born in Canada? Yes, my parents uh, immigrated in the 70s. Born and raised, cool. French Canadian. Yeah. In, in, in Quebec. In Quebec, yes, cool, Montreal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whose idea was it more yours or Simon's to come here? Both. Simon wanted to live somewhere else and I want to be at the beach. Yeah. So here we are. Well, thank you for having us and teaching us all your delicious recipes. Yeah, and we want to find out more about how this happened over lunch, I think. Yeah. So we grated the yuca, we took out the starch. Now I mixed it with eggs from the farm, uh, a bunch of herbs. We've got cilantro, basil, oregano, and rosemary and then some sea salts and a little bit of oil, but really the egg does the trick. Awesome. So make patty, yeah. These look and smell incredible. Yeah, <laughs> they're quite all right. Mm. Pretty addictive. Sitting so in my hand, like, like every time you're like, I'll be right back, I'm like, no worries. So we were talking yesterday or before about 
You guys, since you've been on the farm for four years in May, you've come so far from what it looked like when you first got here. What's your, like, what's your vision for the long term with this farm? I really feel like this can be like an like an open space for so many things, uh, but mainly to disconnect from uh, technology and connect with nature for so many people. Um, Ecuadorians, tourists uh, from from everywhere in the world, or just like our neighbors, trying to create something um, that's really communal and uh, attracts cool. people, and just have like the yoga, have the meditation, have the trees, the reforestation project. Um, people could go for a hike. The, yeah. yeah, the do food, yoga. Mm -hmm. yeah. Eat Harvest. directly from the farm. Mm -hmm. Something that we don't do anymore, or well, that's really hard to do in cities. Mm -hmm. and recon and um, know the value of it it's marvelous yeah. to just pick your own food and see how it's all from the from the garden to the plate no? yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah I think it's awesome that you guys are like curating a place that people can come and feel welcome and feel like they can become a part of your vision and your dream and I mean that's something that we definitely look for while traveling as well is just like finding meaning in our travels as we go and like getting involved with people and community and yeah what you're doing is creating an awesome community here those hash browns were absolutely delicious along with the hummus and the homemade hot sauce we are now gearing up for an adventure as a reward for all our hard work we're going for a hike to look for the horses because we're hoping to go for a horse ride <laughs> You want me to machete for a bit so you don't get too tired out? How are you doing this? Magic sorcery. Practice. So Simon, you told us that this was a bit of a rough hike, but I didn't realize we'd be trailblazing here. <laughs> oh, we can smell it. horse poop. Spotted one? Yeah. Where? We've got one. Can you see his hand? What are hey. your thoughts on barebacking, Lee? I would try it. Everyone should know you should always be pretty careful approaching a horse from behind. I actually got kicked by one yeah, when I was three. Hey, kick cow. Hey, kick cow. He needs to know you're there. Touch his butt. There you go. I might just stay here. Oh, man, he's running. Oh, no. It's probably good we left off the back. It's pretty uh, sweaty business out here. Sorry, Kaka. I'm not giving you a very flattering angle, I know. <laughs> You want Lee to like hit him off? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. You make me run. You did well to turn him around. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not over yet. Oh, no. He recognizes that I'm the weak link. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Not me. Not me. Not me. Don't go my way. Eee. Oh, go back to the room. Oh. oh no, he's gone. Oh wow. Wow, he is. Wow. Well, you go, Cacao and Simon. Cowboy from Quebec. <laughs> and so, Simon, as you're walking away, did you ever grow up on farms or anything? I uh, don't know. <laughs> City boy. City boy. Uh, uh. Simon is further proof. Like we've been saying from the start, you can learn to do anything. Yeah. He's a city boy from Quebec and he is killing it over yeah, there. Yeah, it's very inspiring. I think a lot of people think that anyone that chooses to do this kind of thing starts in a profession that they're already doing something similar. And I think the other misconception is they think people have a lot of money. Like Simon and Sue are examples of people that didn't have any idea what they're doing. They've just jumped into it. Yeah. And they also didn't have a lot of money. So they're making it work. Yeah, they had the passion, the motivation, and the courage to pick up everything, pick up their lives, and try something different that's much harder, but can also bring so much more gratification. Yeah. Aki's gonna be so jealous when he watches the video and sees this is what he missed out on. So yeah, go down here. Yeah. And I'll go past here. Okay. We're gonna come in at one angle. He's coming in on the other, and we're gonna try to. Corner them. So we're going for Manny or for Chichi? Uh, we'll see. Really? You can go down there, guys? Alright, got him in the corner. Very well, please. 
Sorry, buddy. I think it's definitely more of a case of Manny leading Lee than Lee <laughs> leading Manny here. <laughs> He's taking her on little excursions. I think he knows your personality already. <laughs> He's got her figured out in about two minutes. I can be assertive. You show him, Lee. I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone for your kind words about last week's video. So glad you all enjoyed it. And yeah, we're going to continue to mix things up. That's about it. Good work, team. Simon, I have to say I'm very impressed. With what? With He's bare backing. bare backing, yeah. You're looking legit. Feeling legit. Damn, girl, those high socks. Aki's sad he can't join us. No! Unfortunately, Aki hasn't really been around horses enough and he's a bit of a liability. We don't want him to get kicked. Oh, such a natural. We are off. How you going, Lee? Good. So, especially with the cow, you gotta be uh, strict with him when you pass the rip. Oh, and him too. Oh, 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 <laughs> How's it going, Lee? Good. Yeah. You look good. I'm dancing. We're dancing together. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Why do I always do this? Is he pooping or is he? Pooping. <laughs> Are you coming up the back there? Uh, hey, this is me and Cacao's. We're not letting you pass, buddy. We finally got the lead. Go! You're looking way more confident now. I'm feeling like that. Kind of a turn on. The cow, what was that? He was staying in front for like two minutes. Thank you, cacao. That was a really cool experience. And I'm just gonna hazard a guess there's never a dull moment living on this finca. It's not even that late, but I'm so tired. Like waking up with the sun at 6.30 we got up today. It's just been a, a long and awesome, engaging day. Hey, pasa chicos. Alright, well I think we're all pretty wiped today from the awesome activities. Thank you for a great day. Max and I were saying that we probably barely skimmed the surface of all there is, all there is to learn about the farm. Bit. Yeah, it's been so good. Yeah. Yay. But We've just... had such a good time out here. If you did have one piece of advice for someone that's looking at maybe doing, whether it's Ecuador or any, you know, anywhere they're thinking about making a move and completely changing to do this kind of thing, farming and you know, living more off the land, what would that piece of advice be? Can I go? Can I go? Just do it. Do it, try it, however you want to do it, just try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You just go back home. Yeah. You, it's, nothing is definite. It's not a one-way ticket. Exactly. Yeah. It's fun to taste everything. So just yeah. try yeah. and taste it. And then you'll never have that regret of, you know, oh, I always wanted to do this, but I didn't. At least if you do it and you don't enjoy it and you come back, you know you've tried exactly. it. You've probably grown as a person, exactly. learned some things about yourself. That's well, thank you, yeah, once again, guys, so much for having us, and yeah, yeah we're we so... We've learned a lot from you, and... Yeah, so stoked to have been able to have this experience, and then also yeah. to have met all three of you, and, Yay. you know, be able to come back. <laughs> yeah, and to say, like, we now have some new friends out of the situation, yes. which is... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now we have a reason to come back to Ecuador, right, Max? Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll find a few, but yeah. this is definitely a big one. <laughs> With that, it is a wrap, guys. If you live in Ecuador or you're thinking of traveling to Ecuador, definitely consider coming to this finca. It is such a beautiful and authentic way to see Ecuador. And they also have a yoga retreat every couple of weeks. We'll put the link in the description below. 
definitely and we had a very hard time cutting this video down to under 20 minutes as there we had so much fun here if you are interested in longer videos on our patron page we do have extended versions of all of our weekly videos so head on over there's a link at the very end check it out otherwise we will see you next sunday see you next sunday bye thanks bye. for watching You give him one more, I want to get his actual teeth. I'm going to rage for it. <laughs>